Is it fair to say that you're a 19 year old kid who dropped out of college for a semester because you're anticipating the Bitcoin bull run being absolutely breathtaking for the rest of this year? Yeah, definitely. That, that had a lot to do with my, my thought process. It's like, I think, I think, you know, if we were in a bear market, I may have not made that decision. Right. But I think like, I'm going to be very busy over the coming months. And so, you know, for now, I think like just taking a break from school is probably the, the best choice, at least in the, in the, you know, in the midterm. But yeah, I, th I think we're going to have a wild Q4 just based off of, um, you know, when you look at this data in combination, like of, you know, with what I kind of hear anecdotally from some, you know, some people with many more connections than myself. Um, it seems like both of those are, are kind of aligning to, you know, there, there's some uh, perhaps big buyers that, that came in, you know, down in, in, over the last couple of months. Um, and I, you know, I, I think we're going to probably see uh, some, some interesting announcements towards the end of the year, but we'll see what happens. And as that happens through the end of Q4, uh, everything that we're seeing on chain right now, the reason why uh, you think that you're, a lot of your time is going to be focused here is just that you know, we continue to move significantly upwards because there's so many people holding on to Bitcoin with strong hands. And as that new demand comes in, the price has to accelerate rapidly to kind of accommodate everyone. Yeah, exactly. And and like one chart, like we skipped over, but if you look at the broader trend of liquid supply, um, the liquid supply shock ratio, what you see is that we've been in this kind of like descending channel for all of Bitcoin's history. Um, and then after COVID of last year, we actually broke above that and we're kind of just free floating uh, way above this, this channel. So to me, what that's showing is like the broader hodling behavior is is unlike, dare I say, this time is different. Um, it's unlike anything from any previous uh, bull run that we've been in. Um, so, yeah, like you're seeing really strong, um, you know, buying and holding from, from these new market participants, like also really strong maturation of coins. So like when you look at like the realized cap hodl waves, you see the market participants that came in over the last six months or the last year they're starting to, th those coins are starting to age, um, which, is, which is a good sign once again, that like people are coming in, buying and holding. Um, you know, it seems like the whole narrative about, you know, people just buying, you know, Bitcoin with a long-term, uh, you know, uh, thesis on, on how it's going to be, so maybe, you know, an inflation hedge or whatever it may be. Um, I think the data to an extent does reflect that. Got it. Joe, John, you guys got any questions? Uh, I'll go first. Will, you're a legend. Uh, congrats on on taking uh, making the decision to take a semester off. I think you're making Thanks, the right bro. decision. Uh, I think we're going to see some uh, interesting price action, like you said, and you will be very busy. With that said, uh, what what worries you? Like, right? Like a lot of this data looks great. Everything we're hearing sounds great. Is there anything that you're watching and you're just uh, you know keeping an eye on for the bear case and you're and protecting the downside a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, first of all, it would be like, are these long-term holders, like kind of what we touched on, are they taking exit liquidity? That's kind of the last real like bear case in my mind. Um, also, you can make an argument that because uh, like transactional activity is low, that that's somewhat of a bearish thing. But I kind of see both ways because I also think that um, the, the fact that there's no, you know, the, the mempool is freed up. It's It's kind of showing that there's no like speculative mania in the market right now. It's just, you know, experienced market participants. Um, you also see that in, in like, I'm laughing because I know I'm like turning this into a bullish thing. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but, but you also see like, um, you know, a large portion of volume is from, from larger market participants. So like the amount of value transacted is mostly large transactions. So yeah, I think like there's a lot of speculation out of the market, but um, yeah, some people, some people would, would see that as a bearish thing that there's not a lot of, you know, monetary value flowing through the network. Um, and it also doesn't look like there's like really strong um, demand to, to use the network work right now when you look at like the mempool um, or like number of transactions and stuff. But yeah, like some people say that, you know, that's just a reflection of there's no speculation in the market. Um, you know, you have like transaction batching that's now um, used by Coinbase, although I don't know to what extent that that's the case. But yeah, I, I think you can make an argument there. That's that, that's potentially a bearish thing. What's up, guys? Bang, bang. Thanks so much for watching The Best Business Show today. If we're going to be the best business show, we obviously need the best partner. That's why the exclusive sponsor of The Best Business Show is SoFi. They're an all-in-one platform that allows you to invest in all kinds of different assets, including stocks, ETFs, crypto, IPOs, and they even have an automated investing function, if that's your thing. So before we start getting after it again, make sure that you go download SoFi, you get an invest account, and when you make your first crypto trade, regardless of what you buy, they'll give you $10 in Bitcoin for free. 
It's that simple. Head on over to SoFi.com slash pomp to get started today. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you come back and watch more of the best business show tomorrow.